Hello, dear friends. A very good morning and a blessed Monday. An excellent week for you. May this week be the best week of our lives because at the end of it, we are going to have the Sunday of prophecy. And obviously, we have to keep inside of us the thoughts of God, the prophecies that once they are fulfilled, then it will bring to our soul the joy of God, the eternal joy. Well, speaking of prophecies, we cannot forget of one specific thing that God is a spirit, that God is a spirit, God is the word, God has a soul and he feels our pains, he feels our feelings, he is the one who gave us a soul, but God is a spirit. God is a spirit, God is the word, and what we cannot in any way ever forget is that just as the thoughts of God or the word of God brings faith to our soul, brings hope to our soul, also, the word of doubt, the thoughts of doubt, the satanic thoughts, the fake news from hell, the gossip from hell, they bring doubt. So, if on one side, meaning from above, from the throne of the Most High, comes the word, comes the thought of God to fill us with faith and hope. On the other side, from underneath, from hell, comes the thoughts, the words of the devil to bring doubt. Doubt. In a way that Human beings, if they use their mind, their intelligence, obviously they will place their thoughts in the thoughts of God. They will attract God's thoughts to themselves. They will enjoy the thoughts of God for themselves. They will live according to God's thoughts because these thoughts, they are of faith, of hope, they are of life. From them come life, the life that God created by His Word. The Word of God brings faith. The Word of the devil brings doubt. Therefore, you who are watching me right now, and by any chance you are in between two thoughts, two thoughts, you can be certain that one thought is of God that brings faith and the other one that brings doubt is of the devil. And it's you who decides which thought you are going to add here and aggregate to your thoughts which one you're going to submit your thoughts to. We are the ones who decide. The devil speaks. The devil is always speaking. The devil is a gossip. Did you know that? The devil is a gossip. He likes to fill people's minds with words that are of illusion, words that are beautiful, that are vain, words that confuse 
that bring doubt, that brings fears and terror, a word of despair. And the world, unfortunately, the vast majority of people, they pay more attention to the word that comes from underneath than the one that comes from above that brings faith. This is the greatest problem of human being. You and I, each of us, are bombarded every day by messages, words, suggestions, thoughts, whether from God, when we hear His Word, when we go to church and we hear and understand His Word, or the words of the devil that come from underneath. Then comes the neighbor that likes to gossip. Oh, I saw your husband with another woman. Oh, I saw your husband with somebody else. I saw your wife talking too much to another guy. Meaning that this word, this kind of people from hell, these messengers of hell, are the ones who bring the words. These are people who are used by the devil to cause doubt, to fill the minds of those who are weak and, and fragile with more doubts and uncertainty. And the worst thing is that, unfortunately, these words of doubt and fake news and gossip from hell are more successful than the Word of God. That's the reality. Why? Because human beings use the heart more than the mind. People are using more the soul and the feelings than the thoughts, the mind. This is the greatest problem. And God is the Word. And the Word of God, the Word of God, is the seed of life to those who absorb it within themselves and it doesn't return void. It does not return void. And this Sunday, on the 10th, the day of prophecy, those who are interested in hearing the word and seeing the word being transformed into life because once the word of God is prophesied, it has to happen. It's what we read in chapter 37 of Ezekiel. It says there, God speaks to the prophet. First, he takes the prophet and in the spirit, the hand of of the Lord took the prophet in the spirit of the Lord and set him down in the midst of a valley of dry bones. And God has been placing his servants in the valleys of dry bones of this world so his servants may do what? So that they may prophesy and to prophesy is not to guess. No. To prophesy is to determine what is written. It's when we blow the trumpet and announce what God is saying. And when God speaks, it happens. And that's exactly what happened with the prophet. As he would speak, as he would prophesy the word of God, not his own thoughts, not the thoughts of a philosophy, but God's thoughts, the Word of God. As he would speak, then things would happen. And that valley of very dry bones became in people, and he prophesied again, and the Spirit came and gave them life, and they became a great army an army of the God of hosts, the Lord of hosts. Dear friends, every day, every single day, we are bombarded according to the environment we live in. We are bombarded with words, whether of God 
or of the devil. Thoughts that are either from God or from the devil. And it's up to each of us to listen to these thoughts or to refuse them. It's up to us to decide what to do. Because if thoughts come, evil thoughts come into my mind, as they come, and they come to everyone's mind, and they come to my mind as well. The devil speaks, he blows dirty, filthy thoughts. However, as someone who has experience, we already know, I already know where they come from. I know the origin of those thoughts. And then I worship God, I praise God. Because if the devil is attacking us, it's because we are of God. That's the reality. If the devil is trying us, it's because we are of God. So it's a sign from God. The temptation comes, but inside of us, there is the word of faith that eliminates, that casts away, that we Bukes that doesn't accept those thoughts, neither comments or speaks that out to anybody, not to give Satan any credit. But when the thoughts of God come, then we prophesy, we confess, we speak, we announce that and try to help those who are coming behind us. So, dear friends, do not listen to the words of doubt because these words, for sure, they have the character of the devil in them. They have a message from Satan that makes the person afraid. And when the person is afraid, then they are weak, they melt in their faith. But when a person reacts, to those doubts with the word of God, then they become strong. And this is what is written. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. This is the word of God. This is the word of God. And Elijah, the prophet, was also in a difficult situation in his time. And he said to the people, because the people were on the side of Ahab and Jezebel, who were the ones in charge for the nation at the time. And the prophet said, I alone am left. I alone am left a prophet of the Lord. I alone, but Baal's prophets are 450 men, not to mention the other prophets, over 400, from the devil as well. So the prophet said, look, why is it that you falter between two opinions? How long will you falter between true opinions? If the Lord is God, follow Him. But how to follow God? I can't see God. But when you follow His word, you are following Him. If the Lord is God, then follow Him. But if you believe that Baal is God, then follow Him. And you are going to see the results. But those who follow God... Those who follow the word of God, those who practice the word of God, these are victorious, overcomers. And it's up to you to decide the destiny of your soul, of your life. If you are going to follow Baal, the gossip maker, those who gossip and the fake news or the feelings, emotions of the heart in social media, or the foolishness that you see there on social media, or if you are going to follow what is written in the Holy Scriptures, the Word of God. It only depends on you. May God bless you all, and may He make you all realize and understand 
that this message is to be practiced from now on. May God bless you all and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen.